start of the year alone, shot with Davido, then the moguls, and then the Burberry fashion show. Just loads of ballers, artists. Bro, it's like it's just picked up really quick for me. So like, I think I'm at a place of where. I think I did what I needed to do with it now. I think I'm just... What is it like being in a relationship but also chasing after something that's bigger than you? Um, I think when I got into this position is that you walk around and then there's some people that are measuring you up and there's some people that are generally just inspired and it's just like, yo, like I tell my family these things now, I'm like, yo, guess where I'm going today? And they generally don't know what to say. Not even UK no more, just like a US, someone that's big in the US. Because they just think, yo, he's, well, who else could it be? Happiness is something that really fluctuates and on the journey, you have to figure out pretty quickly. You scared of AI? I don't really care. I don't care either. Life's just gonna happen, bro. Like, Life like is good. everything that just goes on in the world. Mm. We can try and sort things out, but it's only so much we can do. Do you know what I mean? Hey. Do you agree with that? I think something like that's very out of our control. And you can't really stop the development of technology. Yeah. Like it's inevitable. If 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 chat if um open AI wasn't gonna do it, someone else would have done it. Bro, it's that doubt. It's been here like did you see the... Um, they only let us know of things the moment they're just ready to just let us I know. said this last week. Like, they've, that's been there <laughs> years ago. Yeah. Did you see the BMW X open AI, like, robot that they did? Uh, is bro, that the like one that do, like, the backflips and that? Nah, 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 bro. Like, this guy, <laughs> like, you know he's at the table. <laughs> and that was a dog, bro, wasn't it? Wasn't I it don't little know, bit? man. There's some that nah, stand. All of them, they, all do, they all do some crazy stuff, bro. Yeah. But, like, this one, it was... <laughs> He was like at a table, there was like a sink there and stuff. And this guy's like, yeah. clean up the dishes and tell me about this. I'm like, bro, just like, no. just at it. Like a person, bro. Literally like but a person. But you know what? When I use chat GBT, I'm like, yo, if they have a whole robot, it must be able to do loads more. Like, you can be so specific. It's happening. We just And can't it's see just, it. that's what you should do. You can say, how do I, how do I put this reel together? And it'll just tell you the best way to do that. So mm-hmm. like. Even something we played with, I mean, well, mainly H, but like something like the the charts, bro. Like in Forex the markets, mm. like take a screenshot of the markets, bro, and be like, right, blah, 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 give you a full analysis and give you a seller or a buy. Oh, in terms thing. of like stocks and yeah, stuff, and it works. Yeah, bro, <laughs> like, it reads the market yeah, better than bro. anyone, bro. Like that, like it's 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 a crazy, crazy thing, bro. It's a no crazy excuse thing. not to be rich in the next couple of months. Mm. So yeah, so yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with episode number 73 of the Gooners podcast, and we have got a very, very special returning guest on the podcast today. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you go and subscribe. It's Trey Nine in the studio, everybody. Round of applause. Whoa, whoa, whoa! How have you been, man? I'm all right, man. I'm a bit more confident now. Last time I was a bit shy, shy. But no, you weren't. No, I nah, you know, I need, war- I need warming up. <laughs> like, I feel like I've been trying to put myself in front of the camera a bit more. Now it's not too shabby. I thought you were always quite good in front of the camera, though, man. Like, even nah, when you videos like and that. stuff back in the it day. looks like that, but bro, it takes me some time, man. Let's talk about your YouTube. Obviously, you started doing a lot more personal brand stuff. Yeah, man. Why? I think I spent, obviously, if you guys don't know, I'm a videographer as well. So I spend a lot of time with people building their businesses, building their personal brand. I'm shooting all this content and I'm like, yo, this is so cool. But bro, I do a lot of amazing stuff as well. And it's like, why am I not showcasing that? So I think building on my personal brand is really powerful because it just opens more doors for myself to do a lot more mm-hmm. and to be more valuable to others to just show that this is what I can bring to your space of whatever you're trying to do in it. So yeah, yeah my really personal brand for me is, is a big key for what I'm trying to do this year in it. Yeah. So. I think the hardest part <coughs> about like building a personal brand with doing what we do mm. It's like you spend all this time like shooting and editing for other people, and then you have to do your shit. Yeah, like, it's long. oh, it's hard, man. Mm. <laughs> you get there, you set up the tripod, and you're thinking, "Fucking hell, can I be bothered? What am I even doing? Can I be bothered?" Yeah. Like sometimes I'm just like, "This is so long," mm. but like when I'm going doing it for other people and I'm putting it all together, and I'm like, "Yo, if I had that content for myself," because our day to day isn't very different. Like we we're in the same alignment of work and stuff, and I'm just like. 
people want to people want to see it like there's always someone that's probably sat there waiting for your next video waiting for they're, ju they're just waiting to see more of your content they love your content whether that's five people or six people like bro you, you're building and growing your own community in it and i think it's powerful to do that and i think just for myself anyway i want to document the process of everything anyway which i have but i just haven't put it out there and like what's the point like say god forbid i drop down dead tomorrow it's just in a bank of hard drives and it i was gonna say that hard drive's gonna be priceless yeah like so <laughs> i think just putting it out there i want to watch it all back in like 10 to 20 years and be like yo remember that time like you touched on I this in the 15k last or 30k and like yo look at where i am now and it just shows like you can overcome shit times and it's just it's all a state of mind thing really mm -hmm. even in getting the content out because i'm I think I can creatively block myself from doing it. I watch a lot of people's stuff and I'd be like, oh, like, that looks hard. I want it exactly like that. But sometimes that doesn't do the best for me. I think I've yeah. got quite good at that now. I don't really care. Yeah, you've just got to put it out there, bro. Just put it out onto the next. Like, don't think about it. So Every, a lot, a everybody's lot of the social gone. stuff is, is a lot, it's a lot of quantity mm. as well, though. Like, you have to be there for the algorithm yeah. purposes if you want to grow. Yeah. But then it's finding the balance between. Am I just putting out shit? Am I putting out shit that's actually going to resonate and yeah, have yeah. some value? Yeah. But, Guam, what are you... Am I throwing you? Yeah, you are. For you guys, <laughs> like, why... Like, why... <laughs> you have a little bit. <laughs> I've noticed you... <laughs> I, went, I went a little bit blank when you started talking. I've, I've <laughs> noticed you guys have obviously started to put stuff out as well. So, like, what's the aim of that? Or is that just kind of the people same People buy sort from of people? Yeah. It's pretty sick. Like, yeah, when you've got a personal brand as well, mm. like... You, you see it in countless people, like you can't start anything, bro, and people are going to cut some stuff from you. Yeah. That's, that's not the only reason. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, like we said to ourselves, like there's certain things that we're going to fucking do. Yeah. And the personal brand is something like, not even just our own content, like we know it's something that we yeah, should yeah. be doing. Anybody that's in like our type of space mm. with an online business or something along those type of lines should be doing that. We weren't. Mm. We, we, had a conversation it was like we're marketing everybody else except for ourselves and then we started putting a little bit more time and effort into like the businesses page um but then i saw some stuff online and it was like there's a reason kylie jenner has 150 million and kylie cosmetics has two yeah they still buy from kylie cosmetics but yeah. they're not bothered about the kylie yeah, yeah, the yeah. product shoots and people don't want to go yeah. on to instagram and be sold something or be shown something they want to go and see people Literally. And see experiences and stories and I admire what you guys are doing. Like I ain't, I don't know if I've said that a lot, but like bro, like I think how I see you two is like, yo, two Worcester kids just going out of like their comfort zone, doing what they're doing, and it's just yo, like you're you're building your own little empire, your own little community of stuff, and it's like I think that's sick because, like, Thank for you, me, bro. like, growing up, bro, like, I'll be real, like, I've just always known people, I've always known where to be or who is who or whatever, football or whatever, and that can just shove me through a door sort of thing. And I feel like I'm not, like, disrespecting, like, Worcester or anything, but, like, there's not really, there's not much to do. Like, there isn't, like, town you can just go out and then you see and you bump into this person and you, do, like, you guys really have to get out there and... Show your face. Thank you, Be man. here. Make a call. I appreciate Yo, that. I really like what you do. Like, it, I, I see that. And I don't think... Like, I'm just basically saying that I see that in it. And I think, I it, I think, it, I think it's I think it's big, bro. Because you, it's ballsy. That is a sick sound, by the way, for us to use. Like, what? a little reel or something like that. Bro, like, no, I'm, being real, I'm, I'm, nah, I'm being real, though. <laughs> see like, that, though? Hey, yeah. I'm sat here being like, oh, Trey, man, he's thinking content. Yeah. Content. <laughs> 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 nah, my, my mind just, you probably understand it as well, but, like, mm. my mind just, like, goes. Bro, like, I see something, like, that's, it's, like, inspiration. That's what we're here for, man. Like, just to keep bringing more awareness to ourselves, and if it's going to help, it's going to help, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Like, and that's not, I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. Like, yo, bro, if you're doing sick stuff, you're doing sick stuff, Thank innit? you, bro. And, People notice it. People always come up to me and be like, yo, the Goons pod, like, do you know them guys? Blah, blah. Like, it's good, man. Like, See, and I that's think, hard for me to believe. Bro, like, yeah, but I always used to think that even in terms of my brand, oh, I saw this guy wearing this, that, bro, I don't, I didn't, I never used to really see anyone in my stuff, but people would say that. And, um, 
Yeah, man. Like, I think I just respect it a lot in it. So, thank you, bro. I was yeah. in the club once. I saw someone wearing a knife top. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I actually told you about it. Yeah, this is time man. when I actually used to go I to a club. The I said, like that what about I sent you? Crazy. What about I? I the last time I went out in England was on Boxing Day, and I went China. And I remember I sent you a video. I was a little bit pissed up as well. I was like, Trey, oh. look at my man. Yo, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> at Chris, man. Uh, yeah. You probably like broke that person down so many times and just changed that person so many times. Like, Wait, what do you mean? Great. Like as in like, you know, like during, well, what I find anyway, during the process of when you're building something, you're trying to create something. Like I think for myself, you're a person. Sure. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't fix it. It's all right, man. But like, you're you're a person for so long, and then you realize that doesn't help to get you to that next step. So you need to break stuff down, go back to the foundations of who you are, your whole identity, and it just needs reshaping to be that next person. I think I saw you put out some content speaking about how like, like remember when you were running in Southages making videos of like, to fuck. So. Always as soon as we start the pod, man. <laughs> Just, no. <laughs> just speaking to um, he was Chatting one of my colleagues about yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and bro, it was just like I couldn't, I couldn't see you guys doing that now. Do you know what I mean? Like, wait, wait very normal. No, 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 no. You're, you you're, you're talking about the YouTube video, bro. My channel, your oh. early YouTube video, is running in. Is that what oh, did you say? I could put my cock in this ugg slipper or something. Yeah, like that. bro. <laughs> yeah, that like that was just. And a I was like, bro, Monday. you're not coming over to me and asking me like ask ask him though. <laughs> <laughs> But like, I couldn't picture you guys doing that now. Change and I think because you've though. built, you've built your own yourself like a new aura of who you are, how you present yourself, what mm. you put out there. So I think I know exactly which clip. That's you're what on I about. mean by you've broke yourself down and you you keep building on yeah. top of the person you're trying oh, to. Bro, be in this to. in this it, it's it's crazy that over the last kind of month that me and H have been posting some stuff, bro. I've gained like 60, 70 followers from yeah. very like low performing reels, but it's still 50, 60 people that have seen some shit and press follow. Yeah. But I'm in a minus 0.4 of total followers. Yeah. Because people are seeing, a lot of people followed me for a thirst trap or for the guy that was active or Chris mm. that was fucking doing every, every this trend and every that trend and being a bit funny and whatever. But that wasn't really, it was me. Mm-hmm. But it's not really what I want to be anymore. Yeah. Like, so I went through and I deleted every single one of my TikToks, you know. I used yeah. to post a lot, bro. Yeah, like, you some, used some to days, post bro, some crazy bro, stuff, you know. <laughs> bro, I some used days. to see you on the FYP <laughs> regular. Bro, this guy had a belt. I don't even know what this one was. I love you in mission everything, innit? That was that one. Bro, I know. Yeah, bro, I used but, to post like five times a day sometimes. That was a bang of clean. a lot of shit. It was the Hoover. The Hoover. Bro, bro, I'm, I'm so happy bro. to see the person you've grown bro, into. Bro, be, in the, it, I was banging views, you know. Like, I, I my, know. My, 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 my bro, best, bro, I was seeing My you, best, man. it was like every two months, it was something like eight mil views for like uh, four or five months. You were doing that creator program real quick. I know, TikTok man. The, but the thing is, though, is like, I'm, I'm yeah, but they weren't glad. Longs. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. They were like trying to they weren't a minute long. Yeah, I've noticed that now. To get paid, you have to get paid. They tried to ban me the other day. Saying, oh, it's not original content. Bro, oh, it's me. The fuck? Like, what else can it be? Did like, you save the video from another platform, though? Or nah, like, like you, the videos you, of me. Yeah, like, yeah, I set yeah. up my camera and spoke and I've posted it. I right. posted it. So Was it like, like, from a YouTube or video or, from a, or anything like that? Or no? I'm just oh. trying to think as to why the algorithm would have picked it up. Like, did you download it? Like, was it oh, from your IG know. and you saved it or was it from... I don't know. There's been times I've posted the sound that I've got in the original video doesn't work. Then I delete it. Post it and just use a song from TikTok. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, Tough okay. knows. <laughs> so sort it out, guys. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> the, the thing with like me going to like bringing it back and why I brought that up is like that me when mm. I was making the YouTube videos when I was doing the TikToks like is not me at all now. No, I can't see that now. No, no, no. Different guy, hybrid athlete. You know, <laughs> Dude, I was still training running every though, day. Man. 150k a week. <laughs> nah, I don't 150k know. a week. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Oh shit! I thought you were talking about bread. I was a like, fucking nah, hour. Nah. Double debt. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Nah. How is that all going though? You're growing as a hybrid athlete now. So. Look at him interviewing us as well. Man. I know. I was bro, I think, it, bro, I'm here you know for it. I'm here I, for it. I think we bring on Trey as a third uh, host. In house, right, guys. Well, you you need some more personal brand content. I think so, though. Like, I think it's important, and I thought when I come here. 
it doesn't need to fully be about me because that's no, not an interview. You're, yeah, yeah, like you're going like I'd love to hear the process of what you guys are doing, what's coming out of that, and I don't think you get. With a guest coming on, they always probably assume that it's about them. It's questions to them. Yeah, yeah. Where bro, like just throw it back and forth, sort of thing. And I think it gives you more clips to just throw up for yourself to Thanks, be man. like, yeah, man, do this, do that. Well, and before, if that can, I just say before I answer yeah. it, you answer it, bro, because you're in your fitness bag right now, man. The health bag, bro. I'm trying to be you, man. <laughs> you know, since that time you guys had that pod with James about building the machine, bro. It's stuck, stuck since then, and like. I think for me, what, turn 25 April, bro, I'm just trying to, for me now and then last couple of years of these 20s, bro, like I really just need to, it's not about my emotions or whatever I have going on in my head now, it's just discipline and it's just, yo, turn up every day and... You don't really feel much, do you? Me? No, mm. just like in general. Uh, uh, well, this is the way that I feel, like you kind of do. What do you mean during... Just the process, I feel like you don't really feel much. It's like your is mind just kind of follows your body. Kind of. I think during during the process of like obviously being self-employed for me, you do get to a point where it's just you got to do what you got to do. And <laughs> you do kind of remove that emotion. So it, it can feel quite numb to just yeah, getting up going because it just you just have to. Because if you don't, shit will all fall down in it. So... Yeah, but I try to sit down every now and again and like like I put in my YouTube video before, like I try and have a day within the week just dedicated to myself to just do whatever I want, process whatever I want, like any thoughts or whatever. Like I call it Trades Tuesdays. That is my <laughs> thing, bro. And that day, at the end of that day, I'll just have a therapy session as well at the end of the day because I think that's when I'm more grouchy, more tired, more of my genuine thoughts and feelings will just come out like fuck off don't care about this but and then we kind of get into the nitty-gritty of that of well why do you feel like that rather than it being so polished and i'm just like yeah life's great blah blah like do you know what i mean i think you're always good when you're there when you're on your high but when you're at your low like i think trying to work that out of why you're there and yeah man I it's think, very normal to know, have a low though yeah, bro. Like, there's, there's not one person that's gone through life that's just always happy. I don't think it's about happiness, though. Mm. Alone doesn't necessarily just mean happy. It could just be, like, a low in terms of, like, your motivation. Or, mm. like, the, the top line or the bottom line is different to what you wanted it to be or expected it to be. So it's, like, a bit like, oh, okay. But you can't... Be, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't think... I think happiness is something that really fluctuates and... On the journey, you have to figure out pretty quickly. Okay, well, happiness. I'm gonna I'm gonna have really really high highs. I'm gonna yeah. have really low lows. Like in terms of emotion, but my job is to yeah. stay as kind of like stagnant yeah, in my emotions yeah, yeah. as possible, and like just keep stepping. You've got to be grateful for those days, man, because they make you really appreciate the times. What days? Highs like or lows or both? Both. both. Yeah. Like even like not long ago. Obviously, we weren't recording, but. <laughs> these two have obviously put out an ad campaign which is pushing their business and so on and it's like you said what H was saying oh we should cancel that it's not really doing good no, no, clearly just that's a low I never said and that not cancel it but no, like don't, it's not right, cancel man, it bro. but obviously you're probably gonna it was day three you're probably bro gonna, we didn't get a lead yeah exactly no, I, and then what yeah. boom look how bro the energy that you felt in that lead just coming through what was probably it? wouldn't have been as great if you just got it straight away. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Isn't nah, to be fair, I probably would have been buzzing. Oh, yeah, you, probably, you probably would have, but like, even still, like, I think that's quite special that you one. witnessed that, though. Yeah, I wish I recorded it. Because normally that would just be me and you, and no one yeah, would have yeah. ever known. Exactly. People, yeah, people don't see the shit that we go, like, all of us go through. Yeah, the day to day, no one sees the efforts that. You put into just making something happen. And that's when it's like the worst is like when you see someone in the end just they're like, bro, killing it, man. Like everything's <laughs> so sick. I'm and you're thinking, it. fucking hell. If man, like, bro, you like if you do that, I'm struggling right now for bread and like my relationship. Are you still the same woman, by the way? In terms, yeah, man. She's brilliant. And yeah, she? she's she's so good. Like, no, no, you she don't. Got on, she got on to me, you know, because I put her like in my YouTube video. I know I should probably ask and stuff, but I was, she was like, Trey, next time, kind of let me know, but it's all good. Oh, but wait, yo, why? 
I think because her voice is in it and stuff, and I don't know if she's just trying to protect herself. Other from clients, her. as yeah, well. yeah. Oh, wait, but, I, th- um, I don't even know who your girl is. <laughs> Not oh. my girl, it's my, girl, my therapist oh, slash mental guys. Okay. Right? Yeah, she's great. Because no, yeah. you said you still with the. You go. I, that's what I, I thought. Wanna, that's what I, thought. I didn't want to say then, her name, and I didn't want to bang her out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't right. know whether Everyone you want to even talk so about it. But. So basically, it's a therapist <laughs> <laughs> I have, and yeah, she's great, man. Who's so trying? She goes at Rihanna or something. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. She but, helped um, me with a lot as well, bro. Did she? Yeah. That's good, man. <laughs> I was thinking, how did you do? You were a great girl. Yeah, sure you girls nah, good, that's <laughs> mad, bro. That Yo, he felt that sounds a bit crazy. That man. is crazy. Sure, you still with the same girl? Yeah, she's so good, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> that's the way I that's like, fucked. Yo, H stayed that, quiet though. That is you real crazy. That. Isn't it? <laughs> you <laughs> fully <laughs> just was like, H is a real one for that. No, I was, it was, it was doing this. No, in my head, I was like, I was like, wait, like, is this train not want to bait this girl out? Like, is she like someone big or something? Like, I'm not supposed to say. I don't know. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> it's the therapist guys that we're on about. We're not sharing <laughs> girls. <laughs> but um, I don't even know where we Sorry, were. Sorry, I broke man. your flow. You yeah. just said therapy. You said something about therapist and I came in. Yeah, she was in the YouTube video. No, it was before oh. that. Bro, don't know. It was before <laughs> we'll that. We'll just run on. <laughs> oh, we actually broke everything. We actually have broke everything. I'm actually sorry. That's okay, though. We were talking that's about highs and lows. That's what bro. life's like, though, man. Yeah, DJ we Khaled saying that video when he crashed the golf cart. He goes, There's roadblocks. You gotta go through life. There's roadblocks. <laughs> He's so fat, bro. Do you know what? <laughs> you know, DJ Khaled's yeah. fat. Oh, I saw a thing, yeah. <laughs> and it was like, DJ Khaled, yeah. How you been on a diet for five years and you're still the same? Like, you're still just as fat? Do you know what he responded? I don't lose. <laughs> <laughs> Another one He's stupid man <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, but that's his personal brand though He's Nah brilliant. I know I hear, like, I bro hear it Bro smashed it Yeah Look you at Gunner huh? Gunner's ripped Have you seen Gunner? No nah? nah. Have you not seen how ripped he's got sick shape Bro the guy has ripped his training with like all the NFL players and That's cool Stuff like I think since he went jail and came out <laughs> Got that jail bar <laughs> I, didn't, I actually didn't even know he was out now Bro, you are crazy. Don't follow in the bro, rap scene. You know, really? I don't, I don't bro. listen to as much music. You don't now, listen bro. to Gunna. I listen, bro. I listen to Gunna, oh, but I just don't listen man. to that much music. Dropped no a new more. album as well. Yeah, it's slap. <sighs> you guys, I listen. I listen to Pods, oh, bro. Oh, 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 you killing me? <laughs> he's like, he's I, I, like I, I, I my top to two, not two. Really? <laughs> he's up there. Wait, okay, because we're on the rap thing now. That you, you obviously know what happened with uh, Kendrick and Drake and stuff. What was your whole take on it? You know, I didn't really look into that too crazy. Nah, are you telling me you're following Gunner's gym body and shit? And you're not, bro. Playing? I'm not following his body, but you just see it on World Star or whatever you. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But in terms of Kendrick and Drake, <laughs> like, body. I felt like <sighs> Kendrick's saying some. I don't know. He's saying stuff that is I think a it's bit lies. crazy. It's lies, isn't it? But Drake, baby. Well, like, no, no. We're, we're never gonna know in it. I think we're not. Drake we're not there. Him. No, no. The daughter stuff is like that's a lie, but. Uh-huh. He started calling him a pedo, bro. Because Drake baited him, didn't he? Like, with all of that stuff, <laughs> oh, too. Why are you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> bro, yo, yo, that is so funny. He went good. <laughs> he started calling him a pedo. <laughs> Just started smiling about it. Bro. Do you know how crazy <laughs> that is? I don't even know why. It's just subconsciously. <laughs> 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 yo, I'm I'm pulling myself back. <laughs> I need to. It's not a laughing matter. Nah, it's yeah. not. I'm not laughing about that now. Nah, though. I'm for laughing me, about for you. me, like I do that sometimes. You know, when I'm just being a bit out of order, I just <laughs> think, nah, Trey, sort it out, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> right, Yo. you know what I'm gonna do now? Boop, and then we're gonna come back in with a really serious question. All right. Rap scene. Are we still gonna go on that? On that? Let's go on it. Um. Drake had a nice little song, Family Matters. Yeah. Is that, is it that? You got that that free, one, it? I liked it just because it's a vibe in it. Kendrick, I don't really listen to that. Nah. So it's not really sitting there. Like, even when I see it on the For, for You page, I'm but just like, that, that, uh, <sighs> oh, uh, man, it irritates that, that, me. Uh. But fair play if you want you want in it. Or if, I don't Real? Really, I don't really care. I don't like Kendrick like that. No, I don't care. Yeah. I, I, I don't really like Kendrick, but... <laughs> Oh, bro, that's not Bob, bro, at the minute. I'll be real. Bro, this is a quick walk in yeah, the gym. You know, you know the thing? Obviously, you're so surprised that we don't listen to music like that, though. Yeah. I just listen to pods right now, bro. Do you? 
That's like cool. just on my journeys, I'd rather like mm. just taking some info. My Genuinely. playlist is dry. Is it? I don't even have a playlist. I just listen to my like songs. I need music, man. Music gets me through everything that I'm doing. Bit crazy, but yeah. I was yeah. like that, and I feel like I probably would be like that if what I did wasn't so like I'm having to listen to something because mm. I'm either on a call or where I'm editing a video and I yeah. need to hear audio and it's like there's no real in between bit. Yeah. I think what you guys are doing, like you have, you guys are probably at a point where you're just heavily indulging in what you do anyway. Yeah. And if you're looking at podcasts of what the people up there are doing, you're probably just nitpicking on all the little mm. things that they are doing and thinking, how can I add that to mind? What I'm doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How can yeah. I change that, shape that, make things a better conversation? So it's probably natural for you guys to just do that along your journey of wherever yeah, you're yeah. going. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's that self improvement that, you're always trying to build upon it. I think we're just so. low-key obsessed at the minute with a bit of everything, to be bro, honest. Bro, and you know when you're there, just indulge in it, bro. Like, whilst you're obsessed with your craft and everything you're doing, bro, just run at it, sprint at it, because... Mm. Is it an obsession, would you say, though, with the craft? Or is it an obsession with, like, the getting after it, the doing it, the... I think just building something. That, yeah, that, that build, yeah. Maybe that is it. I don't think mm. it's like necessarily like I'm obsessed with yeah. podcasting or I'm obsessed with social media growth. Mm. To be fair, I, I yeah, I, I'd agree I'm not obsessed, but I, I love doing the pod though. Yeah, of course, Pod's of sick. course. But like, it's not what wakes gets me out of bed in the morning. Pods are cool, man, when yeah. I think about it. Because I think you always have interesting conversations. You always have another perspective of what someone else is saying. You're always going to be in a room with someone that, has something different to say and you're you're both in a position of where you're gonna learn a lot mm. just from different people whoever that is the guy from hype to like remedy or whatever like all of them conversations you're gonna learn and pick up loads loads more than you can pay for a course because they know what they're gonna say you can break someone down and kind of work out the nitty-gritties of whatever they use to just get themselves somewhere like, like even in the I'm little conversation of me and you speaking about S log, that's probably going to improve yeah, yeah, your game yeah. on content by a long stretch. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? So it's just them little things that you'll pick up. Like there's just like loads of little gold. My, my, my favorite thing about it is like it falls into what you said. But yeah. I was talking to my mom about this the other day. But it's so fucking cool that we can sit mm. down with the owner of hype, forty five million a year, like the the guys from the TDM podcast, yeah. like the OnlyFans agency that do. Oh yeah, for yeah, five, yeah. five, five million a month, like mad, like people that are doing crazy mm. well for themselves. Like we've left some of those pods, like just hype, f- fire, yeah, fired up, fired, bro. And it's sick to be able to have these that, people in our network thing, that recognise us like now. Your own therapy slash mental sessions, bro. Like for me, that's what that would be because, bro, as I said before, if you feel like you can make it and kill it every single week, bro. That's probably what's giving you the momentum to just turn up every day and do it. Do you know what I mean? What dropping percentages your pod, of what? Go on, go on, go on. Dropping your pod every week, every Monday, and sticking to that for what? How long has it been? A year. Seventy-three, 73 weeks. weeks. Seventy-three weeks, bro. Crazy. And what you're, you're almost close to that K, and yeah. you're hitting that K soon, <laughs> bro. I've been watching it. You know, I'll be real. Like I've been watching, but I think the moment you hit that, however long that's felt. I think within like the next three to six months of being at that K. For like, the last I couple of months, we've been so averaging gonna, like yeah. 45, 50, 60 a month. Yeah. Like it's coming up. Yeah. I so it's like we're, it's, it's <coughs> the biggest amount of growth. growth though. Yeah. Yeah. In like this whole time. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's a coincidence that we've knuckled down on a few things. Who do we bring on? What are mm. our topics? Even down to like the branding of the thumbnails and like when you come across to our YouTube page, like it's got <laughs> straight, straight, <laughs> yeah. straight to it. Uh, <laughs> but it makes a difference. And I think it, we knew it was going to be a long thing. Did we think we probably would have hit the K a little bit sooner than we did? Mm. Like, to be yeah. fair, I don't think I really had any expectations. Bro, you told me that we'll have a, you said in a year, yeah, well, the first year might take us like a K and then like, yeah, we'll do that by February. I remember by February, bro. What before we had 10k, bro? Like, <laughs> but obviously, that's just us being dreamers that's and to being to be a bit. Fair, I, I, I said by the end of this year, I was like, we'll hit 10k subs. I don't know, bro. I, that's I, possible. Listen, I hope it happens. Of course it's, possible. it's possible. That yeah. could happen in the next two months. That would be sick. You just have a crazy guest gone, 
And then that's all the, the other stuff, the views just... I was listening to Chris Williamson and yeah, he had Jordan yeah. Peterson on. And I can't remember even what they were talking about. Mm. But I remember the one part of the pod, and because obviously it was like not long after we started ours, and he was like, the only way to grow a podcast like quickly yeah. is just by getting a big guest on. Like that's the only way that I found. Obviously he's massive now, oh. like two, three mil subs. Did you pay for it? I don't think I'd want to. We had some, we reached had, out to someone yeah. once to come on the pod and they were like, yeah. oh, you can chat to my agency and stuff. I was like, nah. We want yeah. authentic combos, Yeah, we want bro. relationships. Yeah, yeah. We want you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And as well, what other business in its first year and a half of operations or two years gets to sit down with like 50 other people in their space and actually get mm. an exchange in combos? It's not just about ticking off the subscriber list yeah. and these, these kind of numbers. Yeah. Because the pod has opened up doors for us in terms of relationships and networks, but it's also brought some work to the agency. Yeah, got it. Yeah, exactly that. I spoke to it. You could very easily do this. Spoke to James, I said it to him after the pod as well. Bro, you should set up your own pod. You said it would be like therapy. And just talk, bro, for like 20 minutes. What, you Genuinely said, you said to James he should do that. Yeah, you should do it as well. I should do He's that. He's not talking yeah. about James Harper. Oh, that's oh James thought. Remedy. Oh, sorry, my bad. I think you should do it as well. You think I'd, so? I've seen this too. 20 minutes. Oh, I've, I have thought about it, why, I have thought about it a while YouTube. back. And I just thought like, I don't know, man. And I feel like... And that's clips you can post as well. It is. And I just feel like, I don't know, part of me, it's, I think it'll be cool to do at a point, but I don't think I'll consistently do it. Mm. Um, I don't know why. Yeah, I think it'll Tuesdays. be good. Trace Tuesdays. There then it wouldn't become Trace Tuesdays. <laughs> it would become just Everybody another working day. Yeah, 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 where yeah. I need that day just for me to just make sure I can keep turning up in it. Um, but, I have thought about it before and just like having like a sick guest on or like I don't even think you need guests. Yeah. Well you like you could every like I'm talking about you just sitting and like setting up the camera and just like oh. picking a topic and talking Bro, about Bro, I it. used to do that, you know, but I didn't share it for anyone. It was it's more it was more for isn't myself. That, isn't yeah. that what your YouTube pretty much is though anyway? Pretty much, kind of. Because it's a yeah. lot of you sat in that chair and you're swinging back and yeah. forth and you're saying your shit with a bit of B roll <laughs> yeah. going over the yeah, top. That's what it yeah. is. Literally. I think um but yeah, I used to do that like couple months back maybe a year back um it was more like i just had like a set of questions in my in my notes and it was more like how are you feeling then i'll just speak about it and then what's going on now what are you trying to do blah blah and then i'll just watch it back like within the next month i do it like once a month and then i'd watch it back and i'd think yo like fair play, play like yeah and it just always changed a little bit and you try and change what you said from the last one. So you, you're trying to dive in a little deeper on where you're trying to go, what you and being very specific to that. So it was good, man. But like now, obviously, as you said, like it's just I'm just gonna make it a part of my YouTube and just my YouTube's for me. I'm not really there for the subs or whatever. Mm. But I think naturally that will come anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah people like, like to nice see, though, yeah. People like to see your journey and what you're doing and. As I said, there's always someone there that just wants to see, wants to know what's going on. How's everything with Ninth? Um, everything with Ninth is, I think I'm at a place of where, I think I did what I needed to do with it now. I think I'm just, I used to be very thought out about the process of everything, how I'm going to put things out, how I'm going to create the content on that. And a lot of that was more of my branding, where now, obviously not long ago, I dropped a t-shirt, which was, which I call the winner, winner's tee. But there's nothing... Is that the one with, like, the NBA... Uh, yeah, the yeah, stuff? yeah, yeah. There's nothing crazy. Dope, by the way. Thanks, bro. <laughs> um, for me, like, that winner's tee was more of a symbolization to me that I've overcome what I needed to overcome. And I'm at a place of where... Oh, you! Yeah, you. I know you're looking at yourself right now and you're thinking, why am I not subscribed to the Gooms podcast? Just f***ing do it then. Because it helps the boys out more than you actually know. Peace. I can do what I enjoy, if that makes sense. I enjoy I enjoy creating content more than actual clothes, fashion. Blah. Oh, I just like what I like in it. Like, I'd rather be in the documentary space. Like, creating my... If I'm honest... Building my own personal brand is what I enjoy doing. And to be paid to do that and whatever, bro, that's me living the dream in it. 
the brand was kind of like getting over traumatic experiences, putting that through the craftsmanship of my products, blah, blah. So the winner's tea was just more like, bro, like, Sign there's, off. there's not signing off, but now, bro, I'll just make drip <laughs> if I'm honest, like, and not think about it. And if I'm honest, it'll probably just do its thing. If I'm honest, like, it'll, you know what I mean? But in terms to me having to, I, I'd find days where I need to try and sit down and I'm trying to think really hard on a sad part of my life, whatever. And it's, it's not there. Like, I don't, I don't live there anymore. So I'm I love that to you, by the way, bro. Yeah. So like, for me, I was a bit confused. I was like, does this mean like it's the end of my brand or whatever? And I'm like, nah, bro. Like you've 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 got over what you need to get over with, and so you're you've, you've dealt with it. So the winners' tea dropped that, and like now I'm just I'm gonna be in a whole new place of. You're talking about building your that. personal brand and like earning money from that, but mm. your, in my opinion, your best way to earn money from your personal brand would be funneling everybody straight tonight. Yeah. Probably through like Probably. basically just express it rather than expressing like your mission and everything mm. through the clothes, just express yeah. it through your personal brand and that's, just make that's, six that's, shit to go that's along essentially with essentially what it is. Like it's the same thing you said, Chris, in terms to like Kylie Jenner and her personal brand. Like, bro, wherever I move, that's where the money is. Like I can tell in terms of the traction of jump to videography, videography just kicks off. If I jump and put myself heavily into the brand, the brand will just kick off and I've realized the value is me. Like I'm, mm. the more I devote myself to something, the bigger that's always going to do, the more attention I get there rather than, which is, I don't know, there's pros and cons to it, but. Do you think everybody can I be can't like that? that. Say like, again. So do you think everybody can be like that? Yeah, a hundred percent. It's the same thing with yourselves, bro. Like, as you said, you're building your personal brand and you, you guys will get to a point where it's, it's, it's quite hard. Like, Goom's Pod can't be Goom's Pod without you guys. You know what I mean? If someone bought Goom's Pod and they tried to, it wouldn't have the same traction. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Or authenticity, as you guys say. It'd probably be a lot more planned. Paid guests. Like, do you know what I mean? It won't yeah. be what you guys have built in it. Um, but I think everyone can definitely do it. And everyone should. Like, why not? If you're actively open and want to just you don't mind putting yourself out there just just do it and i think the problem is quite cliche but i think the problem with it for like normal people is what are other people gonna say Mm. when that should be the least of your worries like imagine living your whole life thinking about what people are gonna think of you and what they're gonna say (laughs) bro i think of it sometimes to be real but i think that's where i'm trying to get into a place of just like I don't know. I think sometimes I can sit there and think, how how will this post do? That's that's the downside of posting content so much. You put like if you put yourself in a place of where you're posting to get the likes, the shares, the reels, or for it to pop off, you're always waiting for that dopamine hit of wow, loads of views. Okay, you gotta do it again. Do you know what that's I mean? one thing. When I, when I used so, to make yeah. yeah TikTok content, bro. <laughs> yeah. The dope, like I, I I'll never forget the first yeah. time I had a video that did 110 k. <laughs> And I was just there, like, I was on my drive home just checking the notifications. It was like 99 off, 99 mm. off, nine, like, bro. And that, what it will yeah. do to your mentals is crazy. It is, it's a bit mad, and it, I think it can be a toxic place to sit. And I think that's why I was trying to bring myself back to, bro, you're documenting for yourself, like, to watch this back in a couple of years' time. And whatever comes with that is what comes with that. If you pick up ten to 20,000 people that just love your journey of what you're doing and where you're going. It's a plus. Yeah, bro, just take it in your strive and, do you know what I mean? If that gets me more sales through ninth, more sales through videography or whatever, then it just does, and it? It will, but, bro. Yeah. I and believe, one thing I believe as well, though, I think one thing with the personal brand stuff is as much as it's like the <coughs> process people want to see, a lot of people also want to see like the end goal mm. and what, Let's just say, for an example, I walk into Nine into Selfridges and I yeah. see now Ninth on the shelf and it's yeah, put yeah. next to represent and it's whatever. Yeah. I do a bit of research. I go on there, meet our founder, and it's Trey. And I come yeah. across to your IG, and you've got shitloads of content of you. All of a sudden, I'm invested straight away because yeah, I already yeah. see it. Yeah, yeah. Like on that come up, it's hard to find the balance of I'm still going to be putting out the same stuff, but mm. people are just going to perceive it and take it a little bit differently because I don't really have already what they want. Mm. 
I don't really know where I was going with that, to be honest. I thought it was good. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> mm. Fuck. Oh. That's the only thing that's wrong with the studio, man. We need to invest I in know, some better sensors. <laughs> um, I don't really know where I was going with that, actually. No, I thought it was really good, genuinely. No, yeah. I know it may, it, I know what I've said, but I don't know where I was going to go with it. Shit. <laughs> any, any comments? <laughs> Gents, <laughs> what, do you think? what I'm seeing from you guys, though, is really good. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, nah, bro, I'm going to keep giving you guys your flowers, man, because why not? I think, I think and I think that's what I, I've learned that along the way as well of like just yo like someone's doing good just let them know man because you ne- you never know like what's going on or if they're feeling like oh, I, I'm just gonna start or whatever like bro like you guys are doing sick man so just keep running it up look guys I'm in a boardroom is it a boardroom I don't even know man but mm. it's the setup's looking good it's looking clean so we need to host an event guys if they reach out. Stop hesitating and just mm. don't be me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need to host a we there, there was a, someone in the like the you should do what, a little what, what, party, what? little networking party. No, what the, the way what we need the what, network. What, what, first. what did Kathy say? <laughs> we need the network first. <laughs> what, I like, think our all, network's all the pretty people good. that you've already got on the. I party. think our network's pretty good. Oh what oh what to do like a, a calling back party to everybody like that's everyone ever been on yeah as a like guest. everyone just I think we could pr- throw a pretty sick networking event from people from yeah all different, and then like, even avenues. if you invite loads of different people anyway I was I was, I was gonna say what did Kathy say well like, it's a seminar yeah she said like to do like a seminar in yeah the, or something either room yeah. Yeah, but like, talks on and stuff. Bro, how am I gonna sit and tell someone what to do, bro? When I'm still trying to you're figure not telling it out. anyone what to do, oh, get but everyone figuring it out. Bro, Some people every, are a little bit deeper into figuring out than we are, though, bro. Yeah, but there's probably stuff they can learn from you, bro. For sure. Why? One of our, our our clients now, and actually a good friend of ours, he did say to me, because I was doing um, some mentorship with a kid a little bit younger than me. Mm. And I said to him, he goes, I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing. And he goes, well, everybody's you said that to him. Yeah. Because I was like, I haven't really accomplished anything amazing to the where I feel like I need, I, I've got enough knowledge to offload onto somebody else yeah. and give them the right kind of guidance. Yeah. And he said, anybody can teach as long as they know more than the student. And it, and it stuck with me. Mm. And like, so now even when I'm on a, we had a 45, 50 year old lady come in who does website designs and she was just filling in, just doing some stuff on the front desk. And I was chopping it up with her for 45 minutes. And beforehand, I would have been like, I can't really tell her this information because who am I to tell this grown-ass woman what to do when she's been in a space for so long? But I know more in that space than her. And she really, really took value in what it was that I said. And before that, I wouldn't really have had the confidence to say, like, why don't you try this? Or you could do that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... It's not to say that we couldn't throw a seminar, but like, is it the right time to put our energy and time into oh, something no, like that? I'm not going to think so. You never know when the right time I think, time I is think really kind of, it. I think a networking event that would be lit. It's just w- an would idea, you innit? Would you roll? Yeah, bro. Here you go. Like, it's, it's, just an, it's just For an idea. For our 100th episode, let's do that. Shit. We need to get planning. For our 100th episode, that'd be quite a cool. Yeah. Or do we do the 1K party? But that's a bit like, we have to. We're there. No, fuck that, bro. We're not <laughs> <in it. We're laughs> even, uh, uh, too much shit going on now. On the yeah. hundredth episode, I reckon. Would you roll then? Yeah, bro. I'm there. Like and free just night just gonna, it's, just gonna be the, it's just going to be the three of us. <laughs> I don't want to sponsor <laughs> the event, man. No. <laughs> 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 oh, that'd be get me a sponsor out. for the event. Yeah. Fuck you know. That'd be sick. I want to ask you, like, being the person that you are and being in the line of work that you're in, mm-hmm. and obviously us as well, like, what is it like being in a relationship but also chasing after something that's bigger than you? Um, it's very difficult. Um, I think being in this position, you need someone that understands what you're doing, what the day-to-day looks like. <clears throat> and, like, sometimes not everything is as smooth sailing as it can look online in it. And I think... Um, I definitely have a girl that's like she she gets what I'm doing. She knows where I'm going, and she's been like I'd say a massive contribution to everything I'm already doing now. Like that's dope. years gone by. Like I've known her for a good what, five years. Oh, shit, you guys been together for five years? Nah, we were like really cool friends. So like, if anything, I was always speaking to other people and stuff. But um, she's just always been there on the sideline, just. Helping me out, building me up. At one point, she was like my PA. Um, 
just everything finances you need to do this that's not good enough this needs to be sorted out if my stock needed replenishing or whatever like she's there if i need an email sent she'll sort it so like, she's, like she, yeah one. yeah she's been a real big help and bro like she's just she just um graduated the bar still bro so sure. yeah man so she's really i think we've both seen each other on our journey of like She's building herself, I'm building me, and we massively help to contribute towards each other. And I think we've got a good support system for each other. Do you know what I mean? And I think I think at one point it was something that I genuinely prayed for, bro. Like it was like, yo, I just like I just wanted like real love, if that makes sense. Someone that's really gonna be a part of me, be a part of my success, doesn't doesn't love me for what I'm doing, the rooms I'm entering, the people that like, because for me, that doesn't really mean anything. Like, if that were all gone tomorrow, are you really there, like, during the nitty gritty of everything, can it, of when I need to start building myself again? And I think what I'm really happy about is that she's the only girl that's seen me during the process of growing through self employment, making the money I do make, like, and I'm happy that it's her rather than any other girl before that because I wasn't sure if they genuinely was it the idea of I me and what I could get to yeah. or do you know what I mean? She's just been there just because, oh, that's cool. I really like what you're doing. Like if I were ill, if I were like, bro, that girl would put a medicine in an Uber. She'd order me food to my house if we weren't eating. Like... Like she's she's like that. She's probably one of the nicest people I know, and like that makes me feel like, feck. <laughs> like more just because I'm more like, I uh, don't really give a fuck. Like I don't care. Like I'm more a bit nonchalant. Yeah, I wouldn't think about that. And she thinks about them things that I thought raw. Like why didn't I think of being like nice about that? And it you think yeah. that's just a girl thing, or you think that's her in general? Though? Nah, like she's got this to a whole new level. Like. I can't even explain it It's just like Say on a random time Like she'll just come home Like to, to my house or whatever And my mum's just there Oh like I just got you this, this chocolate Because I, just, I know you like this chocolate And it's repetitively like that It's not like I'm just doing it Because it's the first time I've seen you It's just Oh like I bought you some cookies Because I know you like these cookies Or uh -huh. Yeah like bro It's just mad yeah. And I'll just be like You know what the I'll, thing, I'll right? sit there In the corner of my room Like like where like where have you come from or like what was i running around searching for this whole time when you've been there and i just didn't look like i don't know if i was just chasing whatever up but like bro like i think that's beautiful bro. yeah man she's a big big investment a big part of me and what i'm doing and i think she obviously she deserves to be highlighted more in my life of you know what I mean? And I guess this probably could be it, in it? But, like, I'm also a very private person, so it's not like I put that out there. So you won't really know if I'm in a relationship or not. Do you know what I mean? Just because I don't, that, I don't... I don't like it, and I think... I don't know, like, I like to protect my family or any relationships I'm in, like, a lot, because people just speak, man, and it just... I'd rather we have trust, and it's just what you say is what you say, and what I say is what I say. And we move forward with that. And if that goes left from anywhere from there, then it just doesn't it. And then that's the trust broken. But I prefer things that way. But yeah, what about you guys? Is she cool with that? But like, um, sometimes sometimes it can be techie. Oh, uh, bro, it's nothing worse. Like, techie, but you look like, so good on but your like, IG. I'll, no, 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 mm, no. Nah, I was gonna say like, ah, <laughs> oh, like. Are you never post me or something like that? I'm just like, babe, like, it's not me. Yeah, you know, I think she. When we got together and stuff, it was more like, obviously, she already knows what I do and stuff and whatever. And, like, she knew, like, if people were talking about things or raving about it and, like, she knew I was known in a way. Like, I'm not saying, like, oh, famous I or whatever. You. But, like, people just know of my name or whatever. And um, I think as we got into it, I don't know if it was more like an insecurity that, well, how will people know if you're with me or protect I'm like, yo, you've... You really just gotta trust me here. Like, I really don't have time to. With me, I don't have time to move like that. I don't have time to be 
trying to message girls all day every day like I'm really just at the craft of what needs to be done and I think it took us some time to really just believe that and see that and um there was a moment where I did post her a little bit more but like yo it just caused so much drama and she was like you know I really understand why (laughs) she's like I really understand why you kind of just keep wait, things to wait, yourself how did, cause, how did it cause drama it was just like a lot of people just speaking of say our relationship or whatever and like kind of what's going on or it could be like my name like oh how come trey follows this girl or how come trey like how come he's like in the likes here or whatever and it's like they don't even know the connection i have with this person or how do you know what I mean? How locked in mm. we are on, in terms of that. And I'd be like, yo, she's actually my dog. Like, I've known her for a minute. And these people that are coming to you spreading all of... Yeah. Like, it's just like you're creating drama between us for no reason when we've got comfortability in what we're already in. Mm. You're creating more questions in her head that she doesn't need to think or worry about. And that's not me saying it from the standpoint of she can't ask some questions. She can and I'll be openly honest to just be like, yo, like, that's nothing to worry about. Like, you're genuinely good. Um, but it, it just creates, it's like people just want to chat. People, well, for me anyway, they've just, my name can tend to always be in their mouth. So, like, I just prefer to, I prefer to just put out what I don't mind people seeing. And then everything in terms of my family, whatever goes wrong, whatever. I mean, you wouldn't really know about, and I'll just handle. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think, I, for me, that's that's the best way I can. A lot of do people that aren't forward. as invested in something as we are, are in a passion and building something great, and like don't have time for mm. outside shit. Mm. That's all they have time for. Yeah. So obviously, people are gonna chat and they're gonna gossip and it's they're gonna just gossip. Yeah. Because when was the last time really? Me and you sat down because we spend hours on end together every week, and we spoke about someone else and their business. <laughs> I can't would. remember it, bro. You don't have. If we don't, I don't have time for that's it. That's some friendship yeah. groups. They'll go out. That's, and that's all, all they, they have, speak that's about. That's all they have time for. Exactly. And yeah. I realized that the moment I left work and everything is that. <laughs> say sometimes she'd come to me with a conversation, like, babe, like yo, I don't really have time for this conversation like how are you like i don't care about Mm. them i really do not care Mm. are you good what's going on how's work and that all right cool but the gossip part i can't fathom it bro i can't process it because it's just like what are we really speaking about it doesn't make you any better doesn't move anything forward Mm. it's just words in the air to try and make yourself feel better than another person or do you know what i mean it's just don't do that and i think especially from working in like no one killed me from Southridges but from that place you're around a lot of people that genuinely feel like just above everyone I'm in designer all day I do this all day and it's kind of like it can be like oh look at that person she's in those hills I bet she thinks she looks like do you know what I mean but the people I can meet on the day to day that are making probably half a million a month or more they don't speak like that. People are just doing what they're doing. This is the, the normal day-to-day life. If I have a Louis Vuitton bag, I have a Louis Vuitton bag. Mm. It's just it's just the day-to-day. And I think that's what I quickly started to learn when I got into this position is that you walk around and then there's some people that are measuring you up and there's some people that are generally just inspired and it's just like, yo, sick what you're doing, isn't it? And then that's it. It's not like, oh, yeah... I see you, you're rich, you're doing this. Is that bro, sometimes, bro, sometimes I can get that, you know. Sometimes was, it's like, yo, I s- you must be making this up. Like, mm. Why is the conversation I was that? just going to say it inspires me. Like, you know when I see you posting something, mm. like, for your personal brand? Like, before yeah. I started posting, I was like, it would make me be like, fuck, like, Trey's on it, like, shit, like, mm. I need to start posting more. You made me feel like that the other day. I saw a gym <laughs> post, I thought, fuck that, I'm getting in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Tripod out, like... That's the but, thing, bro. The thought of me going to the gym with the tripod, mm. yeah, is like, is it not? I'm not. I don't care what people think of me with the tripod. I'm just like, mm. it's long, bro. You know what I've learned though. You know what I've learned. I said it to my mate the other day. I was like, bro, 
anytime I've walked around anywhere with this camera and set it up, it's created a conversation. Right. And that's potentially another client, bro. So, bro, I just bought through anywhere with what I'm doing now. And one the girl, she's ripped. She's in the gym and she's she's probably like one of them bodybuilders. She's in the gym and she's gone. You you've come with this big camera and I've gone, yo, I like to document my process in it. And like in the next ten to twenty years, I'm gonna look back at that and that's gonna be gold to me of why I now have a six pack and um do you know what I mean? Like that's that's gonna help me. And she was like, Oh, fairs. And it could have went like I don't know if it was a conversation to try and embarrass me on my whole camera and the tripod, nah, 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 but no, no. I flipped it in a way like, yo, you can't be hating on what I'm trying to do here. Mm. Like, it's it's for a bigger purpose than this right here of me just, whether I've got fucking just love trying to love handles right here or, do you know what I mean? To like, fair, I'm not I trying to get a heavy, yeah. I, 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 I was just going to say, me taking to the cameras to the gym, like, and getting mm. back, like, I've... Since I've been doing it, I've missed editing my own content. It's almost like an bro, expression, it's, bro. It's, it's a like nice you editing your own content. Lit. Yeah, it's not like editing someone else's. You f- you feel way better, like, and it's just it feels more rewarding. Like you see what you've put together, and yeah, man. Like I'm definitely enjoying it a bit more. I wish I had more time for it, but it's only something that can gradually. Well, the the way that I've planned on doing it now is like I'll go to the gym once a week. And I'll take my cam with me on a Saturday and just mm. get shitloads of content, and then that will last. And just break it up, yeah. Just every week if I go, even if yeah. I don't get through it. Yeah. So how's I how's I want to obviously touch base on like relationships with you guys. Like, how has that been? Have they understood kind of like what you're doing, what you're trying to build, and I'd say like, the, how's that? Uh, well, being? do you want to go? go I'd say yeah. I'd say yeah. the only thing is probably like wanting to maybe spend a bit more time with me or like wanting me to get round a little yeah, bit earlier and stuff like that. that. But yeah, like she gets it, man. Yeah, she gets it, and that's all you can really ask for. That's good, man. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. I'm, I'm happy, bro. Like we're in a pretty good place. Yeah, yeah. You know what's nice about it for me is that it doesn't, it doesn't need to feel like this. Crazy excitement of I need to go to the club and whatever. Like my life genuinely feels like it's just it. I'm building with someone now. I'm actually building something, and whatever we build within this, it's only going to help us. Do you know what I mean? Where whereas before, I don't know. I don't know if it just seemed more of yo. They would they would look great beside me. Oh, like I don't know, mm-hmm. man. I don't know. You just look at someone and you think, oh, like. She's all right, isn't it? Like, yeah. yo, let's get at it. Like, yeah. but like yeah, yeah. now, obviously, like for me, she's definitely like, a, I'm like underplaying it in terms of how big she is in terms to my day to day life of just being able to do what I do. Because even in the job role of videography and editing and stuff, you're at the computer for hours. You're not communicating for hours. You need to trust that I'm literally at that commu- that computer for hours and just doing that. And I think it got to a point where she knew. She she just knows me inside and out. I'm one where I'll work all day and I won't rest. She'll call me, yo, you need to go to sleep. You need to leave the office. It's 2 a.m. I know you're still at the office. And it's no longer a worry on girls. It's more like, Trey, I need you to get your rest because... How are you going to turn up tomorrow and do what you need to do? Like, bro, I'll fall asleep just on top of my bed, books everywhere. It's like she, she'll she pull me back to earth and be like, bro, you need to get good sleep. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, how are you doing what you need to do? Sure, and her, not man. many girls think from that perspective. She'll cook a meal for me. And I'm like, yo, what is this? What what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, like, bro. And when I when I started to see all of that, bro, it's just like, yo, you think any girl, how good, however good she is, can step foot here? It's a long day, bro. You're you're never. I'm never going to see you past what I already have right here. Do you know what I mean? And I think even if you try to invest, it's too much of an investment. To try and even get into a whole new girl of however good she is, if she's a celeb, if she's, a, I, I couldn't give a fuck because you're never gonna have me like the way 
I've got something right now, if that makes sense. And I think, like, it's a good place to be for myself. Like, it's so, man. yeah, man. I appreciate it a lot, in it. But yours, bro. I'm, I'm waiting. To hear <laughs> you. <laughs> you just be sat there, like, I'm letting you, man, talk. I listening. know, I know, I know. I appreciate it, man. I didn't want to take away your moments. But yeah. no, I'm, um, I'm happy, bro. Yeah. Like, similar to you beforehand, you were always going and chasing stuff. And I never even knew I wanted something until it slapped me in the face. Yeah. And um, to have somebody that's fully on board and loves you and cares for you. And yeah, look, it's not easy, bro. Mm -hmm. Being in the line of work that we're in, doing what we do, not knowing what's going to come up tomorrow. How am I going to plan in three months this day that you want? Like, yeah, it's a process of understanding that um, for both of us. Mm -hmm. But bro, like the, the whole having a girl and being in this situation, like, I don't want it any other way, really. Yeah. Like, I, I don't. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? She's great. She's good for me. She's brilliant. She's got our own stuff going on. She's busy. I'm busy. And then we come together and, and we connect. Yeah. And then we can both understand and respect when the other one's got to go and do something. Yeah. So it, it works. It's good when it's like that, man. Because, like, even with mine, her line of work, bro, it's a lot. Like yeah, I can imagine. The books and that and what she has to read, go through, gets crazy. And you know, that's helped me a lot when I was saying in terms to like trademarks and all this shit. And like, I'm like, can we, can we go about this this way? Can this be done? And bro, she's too on it. Mm -hmm. That like, <laughs> boy, he's got a lawyer at home. A whole, lawyer, a whole lawyer at home. I've bro. been watching Suits, bro. And I'm just thinking like, me and Hedge have been like drafting up some contracts and stuff. We don't even know what bro, to do. Bro, it gets with them. hard though. I'll be real. You're in an argument, bro. It's a long day. It's a long Just day. Pro bro. debating. Bro, it's. <laughs> Is she like Mike Ross good though? Bro, it's too long. Like, if that wasn't the specific word of what was said, it's not justified. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, we're not in a courtroom. <laughs> like, let's, let's bring it back. Like, and yeah, but we're, we're, we're getting over that little barrier there. But like, we're good. We don't really get there quite a lot, if I'm honest. Like, I think because we've been so close for so long, we're just we're just like best mates in a relationship. We can mess about, joke about, and it's how you want it, ideally, isn't it? Like, so, yeah, man. That's the only thing I'd say. It's just, yo. I'm happy for if you, If we get in a tough argument, it's a long day. Because <laughs> like, my point... It's not sticking if it's not those exact time. Like, yo, it's not a courtroom. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, man. You spoke about, obviously, feeling like it served its purpose with Ninth. Mm. Obviously, you love creating content for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, if you're going to be serious about this, you're creating a lot of content for a lot of other people. Yeah, yeah. What's that look like in your ideal world in, like, the next kind of two, three, four, five years? In terms to videography and stuff. Well, like yeah, your, your 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 business, um, bro. What does that look like for you? I don't know, you know. Videography is lit, bro. Like, <laughs> for me, I do a lot of exciting shit sometimes. And, like, the start of the year alone, shot with Davido, then the moguls, and then the Burberry fashion show. And, like, just loads of ballers, artists. Bro, it's like, it's just picked up really quick for me. So, like, I'm still at a point of where I think I don't really know where it'll go in the next few years or who I'd be meeting next. Um, so it's just it's just crazy. Like, the week when I was messing you, like, I was obviously meant to meet Nicki Minaj, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, so, like, who knows what could have come off the back of that. Mm. Um, but it just always feels like, yo, there's going to be a court. Like, I tell my family these things now. I'm like, yo, guess where I'm going today? And they genuinely don't know what to say. They'll be like, um, and I, I, bro, I'll tell you for free. Like, they're probably thinking, like, not even UK no more, just like US, someone that's big in the US. <laughs> because they just think, yo, he's, well, who else could it be? And I think it's quite nice from that standpoint to that's feel the, like, my family just don't know. Like, I could be saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to be making two mil tomorrow or something. And it's just like, <laughs> Pretty it's actually mid-conversation, man. <laughs> there we go. But, um, like, they're just not surprised anymore yeah, yeah, from, yeah. like, anything that I do that could be big. 
And like sometimes I think I do wish it were like, wow, like really good on you. But like it's just become a norm. <laughs> like, so I don't know. I don't know what the next couple of years could look like. But obviously I do want to start setting up like a production agency, which I spoke about Isn't that before. kind of what you already got now? Yeah, but I don't want to, I don't want to work alone. Like, no, I, I mean like with everything that was signed. Um, yeah, so I'm still in the process of obviously getting it all sorted and finalised in it. Um, just to make sure everything's... I just want to make sure that we're, we're both... Sorry, we're both on the same page in terms to how we're going to move forward, who has responsibilities of what, and, you know what I mean? Like, it just needs to align correctly because I've done business... What, ninth? I've done ninth for, like, six years now, bro. So, like, there's been a lot of learning, a lot of ups and downs of how something should be run. And I think sign might be that business that just propels everything do you know what i mean and just not sets me free because i'm already free and it like work for myself and stuff but like it it'll just that i think that will be the one that kind of brings everything home for me if that makes sense Mm -hmm. what drives Um, you is it money no not really because i've already i've already got what initially wanted in it which was just to work on my own time to be free do what i want mm. and comfortable in it um so i think i don't know i'm not quite sure i think i'm still working it out and i think it's more more what drives me now is just telling the story in it and i think yeah that's another thing actually um is that i've got obviously brothers in america and they're quite young. And if I'm on it, if I'm on it, they're so fucking rebellious, bro. It's just wild. Like it's it's genuinely scary. So like you want to ev- create something for them. Yeah, as well. like even in my YouTube content of say the books you should read, how you should go about your days and whatever, whatever I've learned along my time. Of course it's content for everybody else, but you know, ultimately I want my brothers to grow up with me being a massive impact to them on <laughs> Cause they they massively look up to me. Sometimes I like when I go there, they're like, "Oh, you're rich! Like, send me this, send me that." And I'm just like, "Bro, like, chill, man. It's not about that." Do you know what I mean? But that's all they see at the moment. Um, but I want to keep putting out content for them so that they can. Oh, if Trey thinks that's cool and that's the right way to go about it, then surely we must be doing something in the mm. right alignment of that. And I think that's. That's become a big purpose of mine to keep putting out content um, in that light, yeah. Would it be a dream to, like, build something big enough to be able to say to them, like, yo, come and be a part uh, of something? I I want them to just do whatever they want to do in it. If they want to, like, come and, like, yo, be lit in it. But I think they know what they want to do. Like, they're proper, like, sport heads, like... Oh, for real? Yeah, they... One of my brothers does everything. They play soccer? Soccer, <laughs> skateboarding, snowboarding, he'll baseball. Bro, they, they do sports like two times a day, every day. And I'm just like, bro, when do you rest? Like, And they, they don't. like At that age, I don't think you need it though. Nah, it's legit. Like, like, but he's do, they're doing really well, man. Like, It's actually mad. Um, but yeah, man, just trying to inspire them to just... Keep growing, and I think that's probably yeah. one of the best feelings, though, isn't it? Like when you inspire mm, people. Yeah, I think it it it's it's good, man. It's a nice feeling to just know that yo, you made me get in the gym today. <laughs> like even in terms of say like your content you put out, and I'm like, right, okay, yo, I'm gonna make gym content, and it's motivating in that way. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, dope. You enjoyed the combo. Bro, the accommodation, I was going (laughs) to say. Bro. Bear Grylls. Je ne sais quoi. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, it's been good, man. Yeah, let's wrap. Let's wrap. Um, Well, yeah. Trey, thank you for coming down, bro. Hopefully, this is the second of many. Many? Yeah. Well, we're waiting for that hundred. Well, we're documenting, isn't it? Yeah, we're documenting. Man. You're documenting. Oh, I'm buzzing for the event. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for the yeah. event. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sponsored by Ninth. Um, everybody that comes. Yeah, man. Free fit. 
Not a free fit, but we'll, we'll pattern them. Okay, we'll sort them something out. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, bro, you know we've got a lot of yeah, love for you, bro. Man. And it's a, it's a pleasure to sit down and have conversations with people like you. Yeah, um, nah, I appreciate it. That's what we do it for, bro. And uh, for all you guys at home, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn that bell notification on so you get notified every time we release a podcast. <laughs> and we'll see you the next week. Catch us later, man. Trey, thanks for coming, bro. Nah, no worries, bro. Peace. Peace.